Well, hello and welcome to another Classic Motor Cars Classic Car Sales video. I'm Nigel Woodward and this is a 2005 Aston Martin Vanquish S. So this is a car very close to my heart. Uh, when I was uh, working for Aston Martin, this is a car we were building in Newport Pagnell, their then uh, headquarters in the early 2000s. And this particular car has got a great connection to us here at Classic Motor Cars in that it is owned by the car's designer, Ian Callum. So Ian, uh, a long time friend of Classic Motor Cars, and uh, designer of the Vanquish, designer of this car, designer of the Aston Martin DB7. And then of course he went on to join Jaguar and became their chief designer. So one of the greatest all time British car designers. So a little bit about the Aston Martin Vanquish then. So the Vanquish was produced from uh, 2001 to 2007 and it marked a step change for Aston Martin in a number of areas. <laughs> Uh, first of all, it was a ground up uh, new car uh, based on a very high technology for, it, for its time chassis of bonded aluminium uh, construction with uh, a lot of composite used, carbon fibre at the front and the rear of the car, uh, carbon fibre A posts. Uh, a lot of technology went into the, a lot of new technology went into the chassis. So it marked a, a step change for Aston Martin, who had previously been constructing cars on a steel platform chassis with uh, handmade aluminium coachwork. Coach, coachwork on this car is still aluminium and it was hand finished uh, at Newport Pagnell. So uh, these are definitely hand built cars, hand built Aston Martin. So in many ways, probably one of the last true uh, hand built uh, Aston Martins. So as I mentioned earlier, designed by Ian Callum, and I think uh, I think you'll agree, it is a stunning design. Those uh, really powerful rear haunches, uh, which you can see in the mirrors when you're driving this car, uh, and it is a beast to drive, a real beast. So another change uh, for Aston Martin under the bonnet of this car. So uh, six litre V12, uh, an engine. Uh, we spoke to Aston Martin, albeit paid for by Ford when uh, Ford owned uh, the company. And uh, this engine saw its uh, first outing in this car and pretty much at the same time also in the company's DB7, which was in production. Uh, the production of these two cars uh, overlapped uh, in the early 2000s. So in this particular guise, in this installation in the Vanquish S, 520 horsepower, and uh, these cars do not lack performance. Very, very solid engine, mechanically robust. Uh, in uh, the 14 or so years I was at Aston Martin, uh, I only remember uh, one mechanical uh, issue with these engines, and it turned out that was because the gentleman uh, had run the car out of oil. Uh, I don't know any engines that run very well with no oil in them. So very, very solid, uh, great performance, very smooth, uh, the engine really suits uh, suits this car. As I said before, hand-built car. There we go. And uh, inspected by Mr. Wrighton and signed off at the end of production. One of the other new areas to Aston Martin uh, was the transmission on this car, which is a paddle shift. It is a manual gearbox, proper manual gearbox. It's not an automatic with paddles to change gear. It's a proper manual gearbox. So uh, sort of echoing Formula One technology of the day. And uh, once set up properly, these work extremely well. They really suit the car and uh, they really add to the driving experience. A quick look in the boot, uh, supposedly designed to uh, fit a set of golf clubs in. I'm not a golfist, but I'll let you make your, let you make your own minds up about that. The Lin Hi-Fi, big, uh, big deal made of the Lin Hi-Fi fitted to these cars. Very, very powerful for the time. Uh, British made uh, hi-fi and of course fitted to the boot lid an Aston Martin umbrella. So back in the cockpit uh, trimmed in bridge of wear leather uh, all of this was done by hand by the uh, trim shop at Newport Pagnall and uh, a beautiful job they made of it as well. So this particular car as you can see anthracite interior and uh, unlike many Vanquish is actually in a single single tone, so one tone throughout, other than the headlining, which as with all Vanquishes is finished in Alcantara, which I think works really, really well as a headlining material. So to start these cars, uh, I need to pull uh, both the paddle shift uh, paddles towards me to select neutral, which I'll do now. And uh, with the uh, transmission in neutral, 
we can press the starter button. And there she goes. And immediately you have that Vanquish soundtrack, a very sophisticated exhaust system fitted to these cars, which has valves in it. Basically gives you a, a, a relatively subdued sort of growl, kind of rumble at low RPM, quite a sort of menacing rumble. And then when you put your foot down, you get that full V12 bark, which uh, is, is quite, uh, uh, quite evocative spine tingling and really is a sort of signature theme tune to uh, to a vanquish okay so let's see how she drives on the road so i'm in uh, asm mode at the moment so automatic shift mode so the car will drive just like an automatic uh, manual gearbox but being shifted automatically so uh, the shifts are probably a little bit more uh, deliberate than in a conventional automatic gearbox, but they work perfectly well and uh, you can drive around all day long in the automatic mode, just like this. Now, nobody buys one of these cars to drive around in uh, automatic mode all day. So let's see what she goes like when we switch to manual. from road test and the sun's out always a sunny day when you drive an Aston Martin in my opinion so there we are 2005 Aston Martin Vanquish S uh, currently the property of Ian Callum the car's designer Ian's asked us to find this car a new home if you'd like to be the next custodian of this car then why not give us a call 01746 765 804 or drop us an email at mail at classic motor-cars.co.uk Fantastic car, low mileage, 25,000 miles in the correct colours, great history. Ian Callum, the current owner. Ian would be more than happy to have his photograph taken with you with this car, uh, sign the photograph, sign the car, whatever you want. Uh, he's happy to, uh, to help with that and uh, we'd be delighted to see you to demonstrate this car. Hope the video has been useful and uh, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks very much.